In this video, I'm going to be building Minecraft in one hour, five hours, and one day. Let's get started. Minecraft is created using a series of hollow meshes called chunks that update when a block is mined. The first thing we need to do is build a chunk of dirt. But since I'm the avatar, we can do that easily with some earth bending. And now we have a chunk of dirt that is completely hollow on the inside. Next, we need more dirt chunks and some purlin noise to smoothly randomize the height of the terrain. Now it's time to get new textures. Thank you! While I'm at it, I'm going to download an optimized noise library. Before I use the new textures, I have to create the face and block classes to handle when a block has faces that use different textures. I've got to move quick in these next 10 minutes to finish a character controller. Well that didn't work. For the one hour challenge, I've created terrain, textured blocks, and a player that can move around. So Minecraft, well actually just mine because there's no crafting, and actually just zzz because there's no mining either. Alright, time for the five hour challenge. Let's go. It took me 50 minutes to get to where I was before. Now it's time to add mine. To do this, I created two invisible cubes that are positioned at the end of a raycast. I then created my own fake raycast using a while loop and a step increment for better performance. When a player right clicks, the chunk's block data is updated, after which the mesh is redrawn. Now let's add a target indicator. We still have one more tricky bug to clean up. When we mine a block on the edge of a chunk, we need to redraw both chunks on that edge. Otherwise, we get this strange see-through effect. And there we have it. Mining complete. Let's add a toolbar now so we can use it to select blocks to spawn. Now we can create blocks as well. If you look at our landscape, it looks pretty boring. So now we need to add trees. We don't want trees everywhere, so let's mark some forest areas using noise. I was able to add tree trunks, but after that, I noticed a problem where trees wouldn't spawn on any newly loaded chunk. This bug took me a long time, but I eventually solved it. Finally, it was time to add leaves. With the trees complete, I only have about an hour left. Time to add some water. Now for some water bending. 
Well, that's not right. Uh... And now we have water. We don't want trees sticking out of the water, so let's create a tree zone height in our biome. After five hours, I've created Minecraft with mining, adding blocks, water, and trees. We're not done yet though. We've got one more challenge left to go. I finally completed the one hour and five hour challenge. Now it's time to build Minecraft in one day. After about seven hours, which included some food breaks, I finally got him back to where I was in the previous challenge. I noticed the game was lagging a bit, so I coded an optimized player controller that eliminated the need for Unity's mesh colliders. Now let's make the water areas look really nice. Now let's add some nice sand and dirt detail using noise. For a final touch, let's add stone on top of mountains. Now to add quantities to our inventory. Currently, we have this boring blue capsule character. Let's turn him into something more interesting. I think I'll call him Bob. Bob the Blob. Bob looks much better. What game would this be without particles? I used Unity's brand new VFX graph to create particles when a player mines a block. As a final touch, we'll add some cave. And now, our landscape's complete. We've got our surface terrain, Bob, and a ton of caves to explore.
Challenge complete. I've made Minecraft in one hour, five hours, and one day. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos to come.